and look what I have for you today. That's right, we've got puppy corns, pocket puppy corns, kitty corn surprises, and pooping puppies. Who can say no to that, right? With me, as always, for the tougher unboxings is Nate the Great, my box cutter. He's here to help. I picked all of these up at Target. They were on various sales. You know I love a good sale. I should get a shirt that just says, I got it at Target on sale, or like maybe even a tattoo that says that. So I thought we would start small and then go a little bigger and then go biggest and see what this is about. So why don't we start with the Zuru Rainbow Corns Pocket Puppy Corns with over five possum surprises inside. And it's a two pack. You ready? Here we go. All right. I haven't done, I haven't unboxed one of these in quite some time. I think the last time I did one of these um, was for a little kitten. She was doing a, it was like a big puppy corn and its name was Posh, it was very cute. The container is was quite hard to close though once I'd opened it up. Okay, this has, oh wow, it's got a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, what do we have? I feel bad, because this packaging, I love the horn, does it come off? It, it looks like it does, oh my gosh. Okay, so you can take the horn off and maybe reuse it for fun activities? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and take this off later. I feel like this has got to be, it, it seems like it's too good to waste, right? This little horn. Oh, and by the way, sorry, in this two pack, here are the things you can get. They're little bobbleheads, the different types that you can get. Okay. Um, I like Scott. I think that's supposed to be like a Scotty dog. I do like Scotty dogs in real life. So how about we try for a Scotty dog here? And there's two of them. So let's go Scotty dog and then let's go um, Husky. Right, Scotty Dog and Husky, let's see what we can get. Okay, so first pup. Give me a little tougher to open, oh, nope, got it. Oh, we got, um, I think this is like a sheep dog, right? Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so bobbly. I love this shiny little heart and it's kind of a satiny finish on this and it has little teeny tiny wings. That's so funny. Okay, we got, so we've got a little English sheep dog. <laughs> and then, who's in here? Okay, we got, um, I'm not sure what this one would be. Maybe it's like a chihuahua type? Okay, and then let's see. Looks like we've got some sort of slime, like some like supposed to be poop, I guess. <laughs> and then we have, our Rainbow Corns Pocket Puppy Corns Adoption Certificate. Just one, even though we have two pups. We have also here our collector's guide. I don't believe there's any special values for these ones, so they're all pretty much just, they're all ultra rare, as I like to say. Okay, what's this? Oh, that was actually paper. I was expecting it to be more plasticky. Oh, some stickers, cute. Some stickers based on the pups. Okay, so did I get the husky? Is that what? It, I don't know. It looked different on the package to me. It looked <laughs> it looked huskier <laughs> when I looked at it, right? Doesn't it? So I got the one I wanted, but it just looks, I guess it looks different to me. Maybe because it's running and here it's just sitting and it doesn't look quite as fluffy. But I think I got my husky that I was asking for. <laughs> so yay, I got the husky. And we got some cute stickers. And we got a little bit of slime time here. Very nice. I will wait to open that. Actually, I'll probably let little kitten play with that. And then we have our adoption certificate. What should we do next, you guys? How about we do a kitty corn? Okay. So kitty corn with over 10 kitty surprises inside. And there is, find the big, sorry, sorry, find the rare big bow kitty corn. I'm gonna go for that. Peel and reveal magic heart. I love those kind of things. Okay. And unfortunately, this is the style that I have. I don't know if any of you have had trouble with this style, where after you pop it, it's really hard to line all of them back up to close it again. There's gotta be a better way. Okay. Who's in here? Oh. <gasps> Guys, is this the um is this the special one? Let's see. Hang on. Should we be rejoicing? It is! <gasps> you guys, we got the rare big bow kitty corn. 
And it's so cute. And that is a big bow. Okay. I like big bows and I cannot lie. All right. Let's peel and reveal. Oh, it's like a little DJ. Little DJ kitten. So cute. All right. And we have stickers of all the little kittens. Cute. We have the collector's guide. And this one is named... Sola, very cute. So they, now I'm confused because it says find the rare big bow kitty corn. So is that not this one? Cause this one was the one that was in the picture. The picture here, right? It says find the rare big bow kitty corn. So, and I assumed that this is it, but maybe it's not. Regardless, I love this one, purple and pink, and that is my favorite color and Little Kitten's favorite color. And then we have, in here we have more of the Magic Kitty Litter Compound, which is really just slime. We have a special extra pet, which is like a pencil topper. Ah, there we go. But yeah, if you wanna leave in the comments, if you've gotten the Big Bow Kitty Corn, you know, tell me about it because all of their bows look pretty big. Or maybe Bowie. Oh, okay. Maybe Bowie is meant to be the rare Big Bow Kitty Corn. Okay. That's okay. I can try again, huh? And here we go. Who's in here? <gasps> Cute. Look at that. Again, it has that nice satiny finish to it. Very nice. And a little pencil topper. Super cute. I kind of, I like this one, even though it's not the big bow. I love the color scheme on this one. And I love the little wings. I like this little kitty corn. It's cute, okay? So yeah, I don't understand. Oh, maybe they some of them glow in the dark? Is that what this? <gasps> I wonder if they glow in the dark. Can I test that? I don't think I can make it dark enough to really see. It just looks like a regular eyeball. I'll check it out and then I will um, leave something. I'll mention it. If it does actually glow in the dark, it's so pretty. Okay, shall we move on? Let's go to the puppy corn. I got this one because I liked the whole sweet scented accessories aspect of it. Here we go. Here is our puppy corn little floppy ears. Always love those features. Let's see who's inside. We have, okay, it's a little, oh, look at that. It's like a, um, like a Bernie's mountain dog kind of rainbow corn. Super cute. I love it. Hi, buddy. And, oh, okay. Well, no, okay. I'm going to sniff him real quick. I don't think that the puppy corns themselves have smell. I think it's just the accessories, but I'm still going to sniff his tummy real quick just to see. No, it does not smell like anything but plastic. <laughs> okay, so we have, looks like some sort of little Neapolitan cake situation happening there. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what he smells like. Come here, buddy. I'll put you there. Okay, we have here, oh, we got some, we got, he has a lot of little stuff here. What's this? I like this little bag. I like the um, design of it. It's very, very penny candy, like old fashioned candy stuff. Oh, okay, I gotta smell this. Okay, it doesn't, I'm not really sure what this is. I, I, I suspect it's supposed to be like a, a Neapolitan type thing, right? Like, you know how you've seen those, the coconut candies that they have like the strawberry and the vanilla and the chocolate layers and stuff. I suspect that's what this is supposed to be. And you can hear, there's the scent beads in there. And yeah, it, it just has like a vague candy-esque smell. Is this our collector's guide? Here's our collector's guide, okay. Okay, so we have Melanie. So these are the ones you can get. Oh, and here is, I guess, the super special one, Zestina, who's like lemony maybe, a little lemony one. So these are cute though. Um, I wish I recognized this scent a little bit more. I wish I knew what this was supposed to be, but it just has kind of a candy smell to it. Okay, and what do we have in here? I guess I should rip like this, huh? Another sticker with all their little candies. Cute. Oh, it's just like, no, it's a bunch of little stickers. Okay. But super cute. Love that. Um, again, we have our puppy poop 
compound here, and this is scented as well. Um, should I open it and see if they all have the same scent? Let's see. This one, okay, this one's like a fruity scent. Like, a, I think it's supposed to be like a cherry scent. Like you can see it in there. But I think this is kind of like a fruity scent. That's not bad. So that is Melanie. The last one is the one I'm really interested in, the Pooping Puppies. It's a Pets Alive. It's not a, a rainbow corn type thing, but I was fascinated by it because they make real puppy sounds and they really poop when you feed them. So they have a try me thing. Um, I'm gonna bring it closer so hopefully you can hear it better when it, when it goes off. Ready? <laughs> Isn't that funny? That's why I, I wanted to try it first. I tried it at the store. I was like, okay, that's pretty funny. I can handle that. It's taped down, so I wonder if they've had people. Oh, that's a good rip. Oh, almost all the way down. Okay. I love how that comes off in one big piece. And I think this container might actually be easier to keep around. Okay, Nate. I'm gonna need some help. All right, this is Sue, the screw driver. Is this what birthing a puppy is like? Yeah. Whew, that's a workout. Okay, so that was a little tricky, but we got it open. Okay, and so we got the Dalmatian. He's wearing his diaper, cute. Pup's first poop certificate. Oh, puppy's first poop. Name, date of first poop. What poop ate? <laughs> Signed. You need like an official signature for your first poop. Okay. Um, so yeah, I don't know what this poopy ate, but let's take out the stickers. Cute. And then here is the little guide that tells you how to do this. There's Chula, Rompy, and we have Bingo Boo. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the clip off the ear. And I guess that activates the dog so he can do stuff. And then we turn him on, we feed him some stuff, and then he makes some farts and poops. Okay, shall we commence with the fun? Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, buddy. Okay, nope, yep. All right, we're making the noises already. We're ready to go. Shoot. <laughs> I'm just trying to free you, man. I just want to get you out of here. Okay, got him out. So yeah, if you're trying to, <laughs> a warning for you, if you're trying to get this as a surprise gift for a child and you're trying to set it up without them knowing about this, um, yeah, maybe take it into a far, far room. So here's the dog food. Should I just take his diaper off or should I let him poop his pants? Let's see, chew, we have chew and poo, puppy bones. Okay. And these are the tiniest bones. No bones about it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go blue bone. Ready? Okay, he ate that one. He ate the white one. And he ate the pink one. And then I guess I press on his paw. Okay, I'm gonna take the diaper off because I wanna see. I wanna see the poop in action, right? Okay, here we go. Out. Am I supposed to squeeze his, like, massage his stomach to make him poop? Oh, wait, I gotta turn on the poop, the poopinator. Right, I forgot to do this part. Okay, but it sounds, it seems like it's on. Oh, this is the try, okay. So this maybe will actually turn on the poop function. Of course, makes sense. Okay, ready? Let's try again. He's not pooping. How do I make him poop? Do I? Okay, I'm gonna read the instructions again real quick. Read with me, friends. Ready? Okay, so step one, you take the thing off his ear. We did that. Step two, continue to take the thing off his ear. Step three, turn him on, okay? And then step one, you feed him. Step two, he farts. And then step three, he poops. And does he have to be wearing the diaper? 
to make the poop happen? Or massage his paws? He farts. You have to lift lift up on his paws. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I wasn't lifting up on his paws. Yep, there's his poop. I guess I wasn't lifting up on his paws hard enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's try that again. Okay, so let's feed him the bones. Good job, buddy. I know you're hungry. Okay, and he's got... I guess this is like, oh, there's infrared light in there to track that you're doing these things. Oh, wait, they're also... No, they're color changing. The bones have changed color in the UV light. Oh, so they look different when they come out. That's interesting. Okay, ready? So, we're gonna watch him. Watch the butt. Everybody, look at his butt. Here we go. I'm gonna move everything aside. Oh, there they come. <laughs> and look, they did um, they did change a little bit of color. That's so funny. Okay, well, that's that then. This is the, um, the Pets Alive um, pooping puppies. It's interesting. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, the UV light inside there, you can see is making it change colors. I'm not, I don't know if this is something, I'm so sorry to say, Zero, I'm not sure this is something I would feel the need to collect all three of, because I think once, especially now that I've actually gotten it to poop, and the pieces are small and it's really just the bones coming out the back. Um, yeah. I mean, the sounds are funny. It, it, this, and I, I like the concept of having this UV light thing, but it's not really doing much, right? It's only turning them a little bit. And so I don't know if, like, I assume it's supposed to make them change entirely. Maybe the UV light needs to be on longer to make this more effective. So the price point for this guy is $14.99. So it's a it's a fairly decent value. Even still, the, with the effort that it took me to figure out how to make a boob, and granted, yeah, the instructions were there, but I saw a lot of other reviews um, online on the Target website where people were saying they could never get their pup to poop. And I think it's really hard for people and I'm not being, I'm not being sarcastic. It's hard for people to understand, okay, you really have to push up hard on those paws because I was doing, I mean, you saw me, I was doing the jiggling the paws and stuff and you really have to. <laughs> you really have to push hard on the paws to make stuff happen. So uh, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm on the fence on this one. I like, I would say I'd rather you invest your, if you're gonna spend money on any of these types of things, I'd rather you get either um, these super cute kitty corns or you get a puppy corn because it feel, I don't know, it feels like you get more value out of these smaller things. And I wanna say these are, are also um, fairly low in price as well. Sorry for my hard take, um, but thank you guys so much for joining me for this one, and I hope you had a good time. I had a lot of laughs trying to make this pup poop and hearing the noises it does make, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!